Hi, Frogster here with a quick demonstration of using one of my favorite softwares, Rapid Composer, to implement the idea of melody paths um, as interpreted from the Improvise for Real website. Uh, what we have here is a Rapid Composer uh, version 4.2, and I have three tracks, a solo vox track, a stereo grand track, and acoustic bass track. The, the grand and the bass are just meant to play the chords for us, so we have that harmonic background. It's said the solo vox track is where I have applied the melody generator, and the melody generator is going to allow me to quickly redo the melody in a way that's consistent with uh, the melody path's concept. Now up here in the master track, I have a chord progression, uh, one, three, two, five. Uh, so let's go ahead and play this and see how it sounds and how we can quickly regenerate seven six seven every time I press the G key on the keyboard I'm getting a new uh, a set of four notes that are chord tones in this case, because that's the way I set it up. And it's essentially a new melody path. So it, from this point of view, it's a randomizer of melody paths. Of course, you can let the loop continue and repractice a given melody path if you say if your pitch is not so good. But when you're ready for a new melody path, you just press the G key and you get a new melody path. And each one of these notes is uh, labeled for the key. We're in C major right now. So E is the three, G is the five, A is the six, D is the second, or the two. And so you can actually read off the numbers. So if you're doing singing numbers, it's not a problem because the notes are labeled one, seven, six, five, one, seven, six, two, five, three, six, two. So this is all, uh, I think, quite straightforward. If we want to change the chord progression, uh, we can go up here to the progression browser and you can choose a new chord progression. We can just, uh, we can just drag that in. Let's go one, three, two, seven here and drag that in. Bam, we see everything changes. And now our, our playback is going to be with the new progression. But we're still in key. We haven't changed the key. Make sure we, we select that melody generator phrase. And now we can regenerate that at will. And if you want to see the way uh, that melody generator phrase is set up to accomplish this, we can just right click and open up the generator. And we can see there's a whole lot of selections you can make in the generator that will actually uh, give you different kinds of results in the re-randomization in the new generation. I've, I've set this up to be a very simple uh, one note per chord path, uh, which is, I think, in most cases is ideal for a, a simple uh, way of practicing the sing the numbers or play the numbers concept. So that's my demo. Uh, I recommend this software. It's fantastic software for, for a zillion reasons, but it just so happens that it is particularly good at implementing melody paths. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.